So normally I don't make a video where I specifically go on a rant. I hardly ever do it. I've made maybe one or two videos in my entire channel's life. But today I am going to be venting. I'm going to be making an entire video on just ranting about the Modern Warfare 2v2 Alpha Weekend. Would you like to win a Modern Warfare beta code? If you do, then all you're gonna have to do is subscribe to the channel, drop a like on the video, and just leave a random comment in the comment section below. So before I get onto my rant, I would actually like to congratulate and I guess thank Infinity Ward for doing what they've done. They didn't have to release an open alpha for everyone. They didn't have to give it for free. They could have said, right, you need a pre-order, you need a beta code, and now you can play. But they didn't. They decided to give it away for free. Props them. And overall, the game feels like a pretty solid game. I like the recoil on the guns. The sound is good. The minimap sucks. But hey-ho. Now that I've covered pretty much all the good things about the open alpha weekend, let's discuss the, the bad things. What everyone's clicked on this video for to see me rant about Call of Duty. Now, you guys know that I'm going to keep it 100 with you because I'm not paid by Activision. I don't get special benefits. And if anything, I'm going to help better Call of Duty than some of those that are paid. T. Martins, Drifters and all that good stuff. So first of all, I would like to start off by saying who the fuck decided to add in a 2v2 sweat fest as a first look for those filthy casual players, pub players like myself. I am legitimately playing Optic Scumpy every fucking game. The dude that I'm playing or the dudes want to go to COD Champs and win that all important prize money. It is dreadful. You've got the G Fuel gammered up, scuff controllers, Astros, everything. You can't expect your average player like myself who hops on for a few hours a day, plays some pubs, enjoys it with his friends, to go into a game and get fucked in the ass by some MLG Pro sweats. It's like, what the flip are you thinking? So to all the MLG pros, the aspiring competitive players, your dream is to win COD Champs, I've got nothing against you. But if you want to make a first impression on the majority of the community, you don't add in a fucking sweat fest like a 2v2 where you have to go balls to the wall every single bloody game, otherwise you're going to get a penis in your bum. It's just... Not my idea of fun. Like I said earlier on, I like to jump on Call of Duty for a few hours, fuck shit up, and then hop off, and then go on about my day, knowing that I jumped on Call of Duty and I had a good time. Another thing is that I don't like about this 2v2 Alpha weekend is the fact that you don't get to pick your own guns. Fair enough, I could gloss over no i couldn't actually i couldn't gloss over the fact that they've added in a sweat fest 2v2 but it would be made easier if i could have my own weapons yes i know that you want the fans to see a variety of weapons but forcing them to use weapons they don't want to use is just going to turn them sour and make them not want to play the game honestly today i must have jumped on for about i would say an hour and a half tops and after that i'm back on blackout it was that drastic. Now, I'm pretty sure that I can speak on behalf of most of the community when I say this. You should have just added in a couple of game modes and gone from there. The game modes that we've already seen, the game modes that we already know, perhaps, like that new cyber attack mode, add that game mode in. It's new, it's fresh. A lot of people get to play it. A lot of people may even enjoy it. Add in that, add in team deathmatch, and maybe add in domination. Add in a few streaks. Add in your own creator class weapons. In fact, do you know what? I would have actually been fine with having no streaks and just being able to have some fun on a normal public match of Modern Warfare. Fuck. So I don't want to end the video and make the video completely about Modern Warfare sucking dick. But for the 2v2 part, it has. So 
Honestly, a few things that they did right. The the game sounds amazing. I've got Astros and the sound quality is phenomenal. The guns. I like the fact that there's finally some recoil. It's actually going to take a bit of skill to use a gun now rather than Timmy No Thumbs getting a sword from Modern War or from Black Ops 4 being able to shoot laser beams because the gun doesn't bloody move. I'm happy that there's finally some recoil and it's going to take a bit of skill to use the guns. I like that. I like the sound that they've done. And honestly, the game itself feels like it could be very good. But adding this 2v2 mode to the game as a first impression to everyone on PlayStation 4, if you play COD or not, sucked. It genuinely sucked and it may have left a sour taste in some people's mouths. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. If you are new, hit that subscribe button, drop a like if you did enjoy, and leave all the comments in the comment section below. But this is Lukey, and I'm signing out. Peace.